Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, very first Spaceship 3 unveiled. Also, Inspiration 4 crew now complete, and Dyer launches updated Kodiak 100 Series 3. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with Virgin Galactic has added the first Spaceship 3 to its fleet. VSS Imagine will commence ground testing with glide flights planned for this summer from Spaceport America, New Mexico. The livery design, finished entirely with a mirror-like material, reflects the surrounding environment, constantly changing color and appearance as it travels from Earth to sky to space. Along with providing thermal protection, this dynamic material is appealing to the human eye. The Spaceship 3 class of vehicles are built to enable improved performance in terms of maintenance access and flight rate. The third generation of Spaceship will lay the foundation for the design and manufacture of future vehicles. As VSS Imagine begins ground testing, manufacturing will progress on VSS Inspired, the second Spaceship 3 vehicle within the Virgin Galactic fleet. The introduction of Spaceship 3 class of vehicles is an important milestone in Virgin Galactic's multi-year effort that targets flying 400 flights per year per spaceport. VSS Imagine was unveiled ahead of VSS Unity's next test flight, which is planned for May 2021. After these messages, Blue Angels will have a guest of honor on their flight during Sun and Fun 2021. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Hartzell 3-Blade Navigator Composite Prop STC for Bonanzas. Hartzell's new Navigator, a 3-Blade Advanced Structural Composite Scimitar Propeller, is now approved for thousands of Beechcraft Bonanza single-engine airplanes. The new SDC applies to Bonanza models including most 35-C33A, E33A, E33C, F33A, F33C, S35, V35, V35A, V35B, 36, and A36 aircraft. Available as part of Hartzell's Propeller Top Prop Program, the Navigator's advanced structural composite lightweight blade technology results in an increase of true airspeed of 3 to 7. True airspeed on the power setting. The Blue Angels at Sun and Fun 2021 will honor a frontline hero with a once-in-a-lifetime flight. Sun and Fun officials have partnered with Lakeland Regional Health and requested that someone from the front lines during the COVID-19 crisis be rewarded with the honor of flying with the Blue Angels at the 47th Annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo, which is returning this April 13th until the 18th at Lakeland Linder International Airport. Medical Intensive Care Unit Manager Regina Wilkins stood out among her peers and was selected, noting that, it is an honor and privilege to be given this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to fly with the Blue Angels. I have been truly blessed to work with such an amazing group of leaders and team members throughout this pandemic. Sun and Fun is hosting media press conferences at a new venue closer to the action. 
This is your first chance to showcase your news at a real-life aviation event in over a year. A press release tent is available to exhibitors and other organizations with prior Sun and Fun approval to communicate their company's message to credentialed media. Interested companies are urged to contact Carol Kelly. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Artex gets Boeing nod for ELT selection. ACR Electronics has been tapped by Boeing to supply its new distress tracking Artex ELT 5000 with crash survivability, enabling compliance with the new global aeronautical distress and safety system regulations. The next generation Artex ELT will be available to support Boeing production aircraft to meet the new ICAO GADSS initiative recommendations that are being adopted into regulations by various regulatory bodies such as EASA. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. The Kodiak 100 Series 3 has been unveiled. Marking its official launch on Monday's delivery of the first Kodiak 100 Series 3 to Rick and Adam Ross in Sandpoint, Idaho, which will be followed later in the week with a second aircraft. Offered on Series 3 aircraft is the 8-seat Executive Edition cabin with club-type seating for passengers, air conditioning with controls for both the cockpit and cabin zones, as well as an increased oxygen capacity. Enhanced quality exterior paint is an option, provided with an extended warranty of three years. Among the Kodiak 100 Series 3's upgrades is the first integration of the GWX-75 Doppler capable, fully stabilized color weather radar on a Kodiak. This radar's high-definition color palette enables more detailed contouring of storm cells, which is combined with an exceptional range and adjustable scanning profiles. Also contributing to the Kodiak 100 Series 3's augmented flight safety is standard equipment that includes the G1000 NXI, the GFC 700 autopilot with full envelope protection and level mode, an AOA indicator, surface watch runway monitoring technology, chart view enabled card, and the synthetic vision technology for virtual flight reference. The Kodiak offers the largest tire size available for this aircraft, a higher landing weight of more than 7,000 pounds, and a lower zero fuel weight that allows more payload. After the break, Inspiration4 reveals the final two members. More details after these messages. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Four people will get the chance to do something most of us dream of, taking a trip to the stars because the Inspiration4 crew is now complete. But if you need a fifth member, sign me up. Christopher Sembroski of Everett and Dr. Cheyenne Proctor of Temple, Arizona will join previously announced crew members Haley Arsenault under the command of Jarek Isaacman. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will launch the crew aboard a Dragon spacecraft later this year. Proctor will serve as the mission pilot and backup commander and support related needs throughout the mission. Zimbrowski will serve as the mission specialist and will help manage payload, science experiments, communications to mission control, and more. 
All crew members will undergo commercial astronaut training by SpaceX on the Falcon 9 launch vehicle and Dragon spacecraft. The very same Dragon spacecraft currently attached to the International Space Station supporting the Crew-1 mission. Once Dragon returns the Crew-1 astronauts back to Earth, the SpaceX team will inspect and refurbish the spacecraft ahead of the Inspiration4 mission. Crew members' training will include a specific focus on orbital mechanics, operating in microgravity, zero gravity, and other forms of stress testing. The crew will receive emergency preparedness training, spacesuit and spacecraft ingress and egress exercises, as well as a partial and full mission simulations. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.